Hello everybody, this is Ducey, and today we are going to give a quick tip to our uh, friends that use D&D Beyond. I use D&D Beyond. It is a great player tool, and uh, a lot of people use it. If you've made a character in D&D Beyond, and you're saying, well, that's great, but now I'm using Encounter Plus, and I really want to bring that character into Encounter Plus without having to build it all out. Well, I'm going to show you a great fan-made tool that allows you to bring a character from D&D Beyond into Encounter Plus. Now, this doesn't have anything to do with D&D Beyond or with Encounter Plus, but this is just a cool method for bringing it in. There's there's nothing officially supported by either of those. Just want to be super clear on that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm looking here at my notes because I've got a couple URLs and I'm putting those URLs in the description of the uh, video. So first I want to show you how to do this on iPad or iOS. And after that, I'll show you how to do it from a website that you can then get the file that you import into either your iPad or iPhone, or this way also works on the Mac. If you're using Encounter Plus on your iPad or iPhone, you're going to want to use the shortcut method. So that's the second or this third one. And you can see that there's different links for bringing in either a single character or all characters, where you should be looking to the kind of top right over here. So I'm gonna do it for a single character first, and I go tap that, and it wants to install the shortcut. However, it says, wah, wah, this shortcut can't be opened because your security settings don't allow untrusted shortcuts. So this is just a little bit of iOS shenanigans that we have to take care of before we can actually use the thing that we came here for. So I'm going to hit OK. If I go to settings, to shortcuts, I'm already there. It says allow untrusted shortcuts right in the middle there, but I can't turn that on. And it says you have to run a shortcut at least once before we let you turn this on. Ugh, a couple of annoying hoops here, but it's worth it. So I'm going to go back to shortcuts and I'm just going to run anything. It doesn't matter. Mm. Washing hands music. Wash your hands for 20 seconds. There we go. Add a shortcut. Okay. It doesn't even matter if the shortcut works. Okay. So on the bottom left, I'm going to go to my shortcuts. I'm going to hit this washing hands music. Okay. It wants to get music. Whatever. It's going. Again, it doesn't even matter if it works or not. You just have to run a thing. You could make your own shortcut on the top right there that does nothing and run it. Okay, so I'm going to stop that. I'm going to go back to settings. And now I can check this magical little box that says allow untrusted shortcuts. Yes, we understand the risks. Here we go. Need your passcode. Great. Go back to our links. Okay, now that we're done with the hoops. I'm going to click on that middle link, which is going to install a shortcut. It's called D&D Beyond Character to Encounter Plus. Scroll on down, does a bunch of stuff. I don't care about that stuff, but if you did, you could go read it. Add untrusted shortcut. Cool. Now, while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and add the one that does all characters from a campaign. Cool. Scroll on down, add untrusted shortcut. Perfect. Now, the hard part's actually done. So just go back to my shortcuts, and you see I've got two new shortcuts here. On the right, D&D Character to Encounter Plus, and to the left, D&D Character Campaign to Encounter Plus. Now, what we need to do is go to our character in D&D Beyond. So I'm just going to open Safari. I'm already here in D&D Beyond. I'm going to tap, tap where it says Collections, My Characters. And uh, Aldric Regal Spire, let's do them. I'll hit view. Great. Now I'm gonna hit the share button on the top right. Scroll on down. And now there's D&D Beyond Character Campaign or Character. Though Now the one that says Campaign, D&D Character Campaign, would not only bring Aldric Regal Spire, but it would bring anybody else that's in that same campaign. So up here we're playing Out of the Abyss, so it's called Campaign Out of the Abyss. It would bring everybody with it. So it's up to you which one you choose. I'm just going to do, you know what? What the heck? I'll do all of them. But if I wanted just this one, I'd hit the share button, scroll down and hit D&D Beyond Character to Encounter Plus. But if I want them all like I'm going to do, we'll do the campaign. Tap that. Okay. Yes. I would like to access this website. Sure. It's doing its stuff. And here you can see that it imported. We're going to hit the library button at the top right. Go to players. 
and you can see this bottom section down here out of the abyss there they all are imported again we did not go to the campaign page and then run it we went to a player in the campaign to bring all of those players in or we could have chosen the other shortcut to bring in just the one player so now that we've done it on the ipad let's say we want to do it on the mac how would we do that well the mac doesn't support shortcuts so we'll have to do it a different way so on my Mac, I've got a web browser open here with the link here. Again, that link is in the description of this video. And if you click it, it'll take you to this website. And this does the exact same thing, except instead of importing it directly into Counter Plus, it just downloads a file that it has all of your characters in it. So here I've got my character open. I'm going to copy the URL, the website from the top here. I'm going to go back to this website paste it in. This time I'll do just this character. Again, I could choose all the characters that share the same campaign as this one character, but this time I'm just going to do the one character. I hit convert and it's going to download and it's going to download a file here, this little compendium file. I can just double click this and in counter plus that I already had open, it imports that file, I'm going to open up the library, go to players, and there is my player. Bunch of the information here, links straight to spells, equipment, ready to roll. Now that file that we just downloaded, you could send it over to your iPad or your iPhone, put it in the files app on there, and then open up Encounter Plus and import it through the settings page. So that works too if you wanted to use the website to get this stuff onto your iPhone and iPad. But the shortcuts, once they're set up, are super nice. Now, Encounter Plus doesn't have a full-fledged player sheet yet, so this information is really meant for the Dungeon Master to have available to be able to help the players or see stats on the players. The developer has said that he is working on building out full player pages, so I'm sure that's something that we'll see in the future. But well, for now, this is primarily meant as a help for the DM to see some information about their player, maybe quickly get access to a tricky spell, see what spells they have memorized. Or, you know, the most common ones are, what's your armor class, uh, speed, passive perception, stuff like that. I have found this super helpful to be able to bring all of my players right into my campaign in Encounter Plus so that I have quick reference to that stuff. Um, I play with some of my kids and being able to just quickly pull up a spell now that I have this and read what it does has been super helpful. So go check it out. Again, the links are in the description. Thanks.